Hello and welcome back to the Common Cult Podcast, a Colts podcast with real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, joined by Dan Hertzler. How's it going, Dan? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We got, uh, you know, pre-Eve, Christmas Eve, Combine Eve kind of uh, jitters here, excitement here. Uh, it's going to be big uh, next uh, three, four days. Uh, we want to uh, bring some some names, some attention to some things to watch for, uh, depending if you're you know one of those guys that watches every little detail or just now, you know, I never really thought about the combine. These are some names that you want to you want to look out. And so uh, we're excited to bring some of these names to you. Yeah. So before we get too much further, I just want to say we're on the quest to a thousand subscribers. We're like close to 50 away. So if you subscribe to this video, you might be the sub 1000. It'd be so much if you uh, helped us get there. So real quick, let's go yeah. ahead. Let's go through this list. Uh, uh, we did we did a top five. So my number five guy yep. to keep an eye on is a cornerback from Syracuse. Garrett Williams, the guy's coming off an ACL tear. He actually had a bit of a decently high draft grade before his injury. Some yeah. people were thinking he might sneak into the first round with a good year. Obviously, got hurt halfway through the year. Not the fastest of players. Yeah. He was invited to the combine. Uh, obviously, with Gilmore, we don't know if the Colts might move him. Kenny Moore, there's some stuff going on with him. I do think adding another yeah. cornerback would be big for the Colts, and, and he's got a big combine coming off an injury. Yeah, you know, we talked about this in our past one when we talked about our mock draft. We'll we keep saying this as well, too. You look in the later rounds, you got to find guys that have reasons why they're dropping. Uh, some of them character issues. Some of them are going to be injuries. Uh, this guy is coming off an injury. Uh, you know, ACL. It's one of those things where we see a lot more successes of people coming yes. off them and returning back. And so uh, this could be a guy that you could find as an injury but uh, as a late round steal. Uh, number four, uh, we're looking here, we're, we're looking at, again, positional wise, we think this is one of those positions that the Colts need to address is edge rusher. And uh, we got this guy uh, f- uh, coming off the edge, Isaiah, I think, uh, Fosky. Fosky, I think is it. Fosky, thank you. Uh, you're a little bit more of a Notre Dame fan than I am. So uh, maybe you know a little bit more about this guy, but but he's been productive. And, and there's say, something to say about productivity uh, productivity and the, what the tape tells and so you've seen this guy play yeah i've seen this guy play i'm a notre dame fan now don't don't click off this video if you're not a notre dame <laughs> fan but he he had 12 sacks last year for the irish he uh, a little bit raw as a pass rusher i think but at the end of the day yeah. another third round grade type of guy and i think yeah. Some of the comparisons are to Yannick and Gakwe, who, in my opinion, the Colts might or are probably going to let walk. That's going to leave a void yeah. for the Colts. And I think they need to inject some youth there uh, at that edge position and maybe finally hit on somebody. I know Quiddy pay has been good, yeah. but somebody outside of him, uh, they, they've been kind of struggling getting those two bookends. Uh, obviously, in the 2000s, we had Freeney and Mathis, and that was great. But since then, we haven't really had that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Uh, third, uh, third on our list is a uh, we got a tackle out of BYU, Blake Freeland, um, and this to me I think is a guy. This is actually one of the guys we had in our mock that hopefully uh, got to the Colts. And uh, to me, he, he's got again all the the right physical tools. That's part of what the combine's about. There's measurements that matter. We'll talk about measurements a little bit with QB. Uh, the measurements matter for offensive tackle. Not only their size, but their arm reach, uh, how quick their feet are. Those types of things matter. You can coach up some of that other stuff. You can't coach up someone who has short arms and someone who's slow. And uh, this guy fits all of that, needs to be coached up. Uh, you know, it wasn't as, as dominant as you'd want to see at the, at the college level, but he has all the physical tools. And uh, I think offensive line is an area that they got to look at. Yeah, again, and when you when you look at the combine, you're look, looking at these players do these drills. Uh, the the average fan probably isn't going to know what to look for, but yeah. as you see these numbers come out and you see the quickness numbers, you see the strength numbers, whatever it may be, you have to think, okay, do we have a coaching staff in place who can take this guy's raw talent or raw ability? Again, this yeah. guy's a third round talent and make him into something. He's played left tackle, he's played right tackle, uh, and the Colts are. They're kind of in the market for an offensive lineman. So I do think, again, like we hit on it uh, in our mock draft, the Colts are going to need some offensive line help, and this is a guy we can look at who's not a first-round grade. Yeah, let me give you guys one tips out there. With offensive linemen, you don't worry about their 40, okay? Yeah. Uh, if offensive linemen have to run a 40, then then you know they're running it in celebration because of something big happening or they're running it the other way trying to catch a guy who intercepted the pass. That's good. Uh, you want to look at, at their strength, their, their reach, 
uh, you want to look at their feet, their their quickness on their feet. Yeah. And so uh, those are some of the things to look at. But uh, second uh, guy or second on our list of top five here uh, is wide receiver. Wide receiver is a huge need. We should be looking at all the wide receivers because the Colts have got to get at least one, possibly two out of this draft. Uh, there's a guy uh, that you like a lot, uh, Josh, Josh Downs. Uh, this is a guy that compared a little bit to T- uh, Tyler Lockett and uh, kind of fits that need right now for the Colts in a slot. Well, I like Josh Downs. Honestly, I, I really want the Colts to get Josh Downs. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in love with this guy. And because here's why. The Colts don't have a receiver who can catch the ball short and make a play. They, they just don't. Yep. And Josh Downs mm-hmm. is that guy. Go go on YouTube after this video. Or stay on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the Common Cold Podcast. Get us to a thousand, and yep. then and then right after you do that, check out Josh Downs' highlights. Watch him catch the ball and go. He's explosive. Yeah. He's the problem is if he has a big combine. I think he's he's second round talent. He's going to go in the second round if he has a big combine. I think he's pushing yeah. late first round. Somebody might just take this guy. I think I'm 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 yeah. I'm pretty high on him, but the Colts need a receiver who can be explosive and I think this is the guy you get in the second round. Yeah. That'd be that's kind of the the devil's advocate there. They have a good combine then they move up too high for where you want to pick. Uh receiver again, it, you know, you need to be looking at not just the top five because the top five are probably going to go first round, um, but then start looking five to 10, 10 to 15 range. Because when the Colts pick again at 2 4, that's the position, that's the place where I want them to get a wide receiver. And so uh, this is this is a guy that you really like. But and to your our point, number one guy, good. Well, to your point uh, on our mock draft, we had talked about receivers anymore, they're not that hard to, to find. The NFL yep. nowadays, you can. Yep. I mean, receivers are just popping up everywhere out of small schools, big schools. Yep. So uh, just keep an eye on this Josh Downs kid. But, yeah, number one, like you were about to say, yep. it's it's obvious, but it, we got to hit on it. It's the quarterback, maybe quarterbacks. Yep. Uh, and in the combine, the throwing thing, I don't think it's weighed very heavily. Yep. Some There's some quarterbacks who who don't throw in the combine. I know for sure Bryce Young isn't throwing. Uh, they like to wait till yep. the pro day and, and get with their receivers. But you can still measure athleticism. And, and I think some some of these kids might pop off the charts uh, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the one that we're kind of keeping an eye on is Anthony Richardson, the, the kid out of Florida. Uh, just really, uh, you know, could really wow us at the combine. And, you know, there's a little bit of a rumor with Ballard saying, hey, I don't really want to move up unless we have that guy that we really think is worth it. And was he kind of playing in the, the game a little bit, trying to bring the price down with the Bears? So we don't really know. Um, but if that's true, you got to be prepared to potentially get your third or even maybe fourth uh, quarterback on the list. And is Anthony Richardson really that guy who you talked about high ceiling uh, and, and yet maybe he has a really low floor. So you got a wide range of whether or not he's going to be, you know, the next superstar or uh, maybe just, uh, just another guy. But I think he could have a really big combine because the, the real positive on him is his athleticism. And that's what we'll see at the combine. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at Richardson's athleticism uh, Stroud in the 40. I think the guy has been more of a pocket yeah. passer in college, but I think he might prove to be a little more mobile uh, in the pros. Yeah. And I think we might see that in his uh, athleticism stuff. And one, obviously the big one, uh, it won't even be on the field. It'll be, what is Bryce Young? What's, what's his measurements? What, what What's Bryce Young yep. measure? How tall is he? How tall is yep. he? So yep. that, that's going to be a big yep. one. We're, we're going to get all these clips with him with him standing next to someone else and say, oh, see, look, he's only 5'7", or he's only 5'. I mean, that's with, you know, with uh, Kyle Murray out, out, yeah. in, uh, out in Arizona. It's going to be the same thing, but it matters. It uh, I, you know, it, not only just your height, but I think your physical size as well, too. Quarterbacks get, get hit. And they get hit hard. And, um, you know, that's the one knock right now on Bryce Young that makes me really hesitant about him at 1-1. Yeah, it, it is. So big, big combine coming up for the NFL, yeah. for these prospects, for the Colts in a pivotal offseason. We're going to be all over it over the next several days. So make sure, again, you guys subscribe to our channel. It would mean so much to us. And until next time, yeah. thanks for watching the Common Colt Podcast.